many of us have been enjoying really warm days this week. But the nights are cold, aren't they, Alex? Why? They certainly have been, yes. The daytimes have been pleasantly warm. But as Mary said, it's been oh so chilly by night. And take yesterday, for example, we saw rural parts hitting highs of 19, 20 degrees. But at night time, we saw it dip down by more than 20 degrees Celsius to minus one, minus two in places. Why? Well, it's called the diurnal temperature range. That's the technical term. And it is fairly common at this time of year. It takes into consideration our daytime maximums versus our nighttime lows. And at this time of year in spring, it is fairly common to get big swings in temperature. As we know, the sun is getting stronger day by day, but rather crucially, the ground is still pretty cool from the winter months. So as the sun begins to set and the moon starts to rise, those temperatures plummet very quickly down to freezing, if not below, particularly on nights when we've got clear skies. And of course, it does catch gardeners out when they want to bring the plants in so they don't get damaged. OK, and what's going to be happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, well, it's kind of like rinse and repeat at the moment. High pressure still in control, so there's more sunshine on the way. Let's take a look. Yes, so our friend High Pressure stays with us as we head through the next few days. However, you will notice some subtle changes developing as we get towards the end of the weekend into next week. Perhaps a touch more in the way of cloud cover, but essentially it stays dry, settled, and there is plenty more sunshine to come. As for this evening, well, we are going to see that big drop in temperature. Clear, starry skies overhead. So a patchy frost, certainly possible where temperatures get close to freezing, if not below, uh, particularly out towards the southeast there uh, for some rural parts. We could even see a bit of patchy mist and fog like we've seen over the last few nights, but that burns away very quickly as we head into tomorrow. And you can see how tomorrow starts and it stays that way as we head into the afternoon, really. Wall to wall sunshine from the Wurgo. However, into Friday afternoon, you may just notice some fair weather cloud building up here and there. It's not going to spoil the feel of the day and temperatures are expected to peak at around 18, 19 degrees Celsius, which is still above average for the time of year, but a degree or so cooler than what we saw earlier this week. As for the weekend, well, Saturday, it stays very settled. Scotland and Northern Ireland probably seeing more in the way of cloud cover. Still staying bright, though, I have to say, but you can see as you come further south into England and Wales, more unbroken sunshine with highs of around 18 degrees Celsius. But as I say, towards the end of the weekend into next week, it will start to feel a little bit cooler.